I accidentally peed on the toilet with the lid closed. I didn't know what to do, so I opened the lid and left. What was the point of opening the lid? You pee missed it regardless. Hey guys, it's Sharon. Welcome to your welcome back to my channel. Now it is no secret that I love spilling y'all's tea. I've been doing it for a hot minute and don't get me wrong, I love doing it, but I feel like we need a little update. We need a little twist, something, something new. In my last video where I read Am I the A-hole stories, I got a comment from CloudyBear0321 that said, you should do this with confessions, which is actually something I have thought about. So I'm glad that someone else said it because this was the sign I needed to do it. So uh, thank you, Cloudy Bear. We're doing it. Not only am I going to be reading your embarrassing stories today, but I'm going to be ranking them, which just made this a lot more fun. I know. Let's start at the bottom. This is going to be green. This is where we want to be. This is, it happens to the best of us, sis. It is embarrassing, but it's probably happened to a lot of us. It's okay. Next, we got sucks, but you'll be okay. It was embarrassing, but you know, just, just walk it off, shake it off. You'll be fine. Uh, then we got, don't leave your room. This is embarrassing enough to the point where like, okay, maybe you might want to stay in bed for like three days, you know, not go to class for a while. Just hide a bit. Understandable. Next we got, you couldn't waterboard that from me. This is so embarrassing that I am shocked you are actually sharing it. And then we got the worst of the worst, which is you need to change your identity. That is how embarrassing this situation was that you need to change your identity and like move to Guatemala or something. <laughs> But now that we've been introduced to the rankings, go grab your snacks, go grab your tea, and let's get right into these embarrassing stories. I'm just rhyming over here, like. <laughs> I told my best friend that I liked this one guy. We'll call him Joey. My best friend told him and he leaned in for a kiss but ended up spitting in my face and said never in a million years and laughed. I told my mom and got him detention. I'm still traumatized though. I mean, I too would be traumatized <laughs> if I'm going up to my crush, he knows I like him, I think he's gonna kiss me and he spits in my face like if he was like a freaking llama or something that is disrespectful like i think spitting in someone's face is one of the most disrespectful things you could possibly do so the fact that this little twerp was like what yeah i'm gonna get you suspended i'm gonna make your life a living hell because like literally all you could have done was just be like hey i'm sorry i don't like you back that's it um, are we also gonna talk about how like the best friend turned around and like stabbed her bestie in the back and was like, yo, Joey, she has a crush on you. Who? Who told you to go tell him? Sounds like you shouldn't be telling this best friend anything. I don't even know if we can really call her a best friend because how you gonna do that? Aside from that, um, at least he got detention, but because my crush rejected me so badly that he spat in my face, I'm not gonna leave my room for a while. I would hide out for a bit, for sure. I fantasize about my crush 24 seven. I made a relationship with him in my head. I mean, I feel like who hasn't done this? This is literally girlhood in a nutshell. Like who hasn't sat there in class or like laid in bed trying to go to sleep and like daydreaming about their crush, them telling you how much they like you, them asking you on a date, all this stuff. Like this is literally girlhood. So because of that, I kind of want to just be like, it happens to the best of us, sis. I feel like this is such a like hive mind type of thing for us. This is where we all share one brain cell and it is coming up with scenarios that that will never happen in our heads. <laughs> you know what's better than that relationship in your head though? Like taking it IRO. Go tell him you like him and then come back and submit a story and we'll rank it again. <laughs> this one time I was really close with my ex best friend. It was a male. It was a male. They were, it was a human. They were a human. <laughs> anyway, when we were on a call and I was on my period, I told him I'm going to the bathroom to change my pad. When I got there to do my thing, he asked me to show him what period blood looks like on a pad and I did. I regret it almost now and then whenever I have my period. I don't, mm, I don't know how to feel about this because like on one hand, I'm like, at least he wasn't grossed out about it and was willing to learn more about it, you know? Cause like some boys are just like, ew, period's nasty. Meanwhile, he's like, I'm curious about it. But at the same time, it's like, what do you think blood on a pad would look like if not blood on a pad did he think the blood was gonna have like glitter in it or something i don't 
I'm stuck between this is weirdly wholesome and this is weird as hell. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put it at, you need to change your identity. Yeah, just in case this guy finds you again in the future and he starts asking you for more of your used period products for his curiosity. <laughs> When I was either in fifth grade or middle school, I needed to pee so, so bad, I accidentally peed on the toilet with the lid closed. I didn't know what to do, so I opened the lid and left. What was the point of opening the lid? You already pissed outside of the toilet. What was the need for opening the lid? You pee missed it regardless. Dude, I really wanna sit here and be like, how could you do that? Like, how do you not notice that? But this has happened to me. <laughs> I don't remember if I was like drunk or I was really, really tired, but this also happened to me. Uh, the difference was I was in the comfort of my own bathroom, not so much a public restroom though. You imagine someone walked in after that. Oh my gosh, I'm so good. Imagine being teased about like not being able to pee in a toilet because you just missed it completely. Like you had one job and it was to pee in the toilet and you couldn't even do that. But at the same time, no one actually came in. So no one actually knows it was you. So because of that, I'm gonna put this under sucks, but you'll be okay. No one knows except the janitor, and even then the janitor doesn't know it was you. So, all Gucci, we Gucci, we fine. My friend put me on a blind date with some guy. You can imagine how that will turn out. I get to the place we were going to be at and I see this guy waiting for someone. Immediately, I was like, oh shoot, this is my date. I go up to him and ask him if he was on a blind date. He said he was and asked me if I was on one too. We both start talking and we eventually hit it off. He was really funny and nice and I was about to ask for a second date when someone else walks in. He stops when he sees me and says, I guess I did come really late then. I look at the person who I thought was my date and he looked at me really confused as well. It turns out that the guy who I thought was my my date was just a random dude who was also on a blind date and she was also late. Well, what are the odds? We're currently dating and I'm glad that my actual date came late. Wow, that really took a turn I was not expecting. Honestly, like, is this really that embarrassing if you just found like the love of your life through this story? <laughs> it's giving like rom-com. I would love to see this played out. Uh, can someone like hit up Netflix for this? I would actually watch this. That is literally fate. I don't think this is embarrassing. I don't know where to put this on the rank because I can't be like it happens to the best of us sis because this clearly isn't happening to the best of us i mean it happened to the best of you but not the best of the rest of us so do i have to make another section like this is weirdly wholesome i don't know but like if i were to pick and choose any embarrassing story to happen to me it would easily be this one that must be nice <laughs> But like, also, if you're going on a blind date with someone, how does your blind date walk in, show up late, and then is like, I was supposed to be your blind date. How do you know that it's a blind date? You came into this blind. How you know it's me that you were supposed to be seeing? You know what I'm saying? I, you know what? I am gonna question it. Clearly, like fate already played out, and you are the lucky one. Actually, is that the new section? The the lucky ones? We'll figure it out. Leave in the comments below. We should call this section. <laughs> in primary school, grades one through six in Australia, there was a school wide assembly in the hall. I was a sixth grader sitting on the hard floor with my class, and I got called into the front because I'd won an award. So I proceeded to stand up, but sitting on the hard floor gave me a dead leg, and my foot collapsed under me, making me immediately fall over the top of the girl that was sitting next to me in front of the entire school. I still get embarrassed thinking about that. Bro, this just brought me back. Oh my gosh. In elementary school, we'd have like award assemblies and they would always make us sit on the ground, like crisscross applesauce and then either give you like, I don't know, attendance or honor roll or whatever the thing was. I would always dread and be terrified of getting called and my foot was asleep sleep and it happened like almost every single time. Luckily it never actually fell on someone. <laughs> I was about to be like, it happens to the best of us sis, but like the falling on top of someone in front of the whole school. <laughs> Poor girl just minding her business and then all of a sudden just a human is falling on top of her. Oh my gosh. Not because of that, I'm gonna go with it sucks but you'll be okay. It's not the worst thing that could have possibly happened. I mean, you just collapsed on top of another human with your body in front of a bunch of people, but like, at least you didn't piss yourself. 
I wonder if the girl who had her fall on top of her also thinks about this moment often. Do y'all ever think about that? I do. I'm like, gee, I wonder if this embarrassing moment I had other people that were there witnessing me having that embarrassing moment also remember and think about every now and then. I actually, I don't want to know the answer to that. Next, <laughs> I talk a lot with my hands. Same, sis. I was talking to my crush with my hands a lot and I had a loose shirt on my hand. It slipped under my shirt and lifted it, causing me to accidentally flash my crush. He turned really red. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I guess my first question is, were you or were you not wearing a bra? Cause then that's where this gets really bad or bad, but not as bad as it could have been. Cause listen, if there is one thing that is always true is it could always be worse. <laughs> Also was like your crush into you now or I'm I'm so kidding. Please don't go around flashing your crushes to get them into you. I that's something. I feel like this is a just don't leave your room for a while. But if your crush was into it, then like you could leave. <laughs> that is definitely a moment that that crush can't forget. Like remember when I was like, do people think about that? If they share the moment, I definitely think the crush would think about this. For sure. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far and you are not yet subscribed, you should totally subscribe. We got a bunch of tea on this channel and we got a bunch of tea to come. I'm actually afraid that if you don't subscribe, I might have to rank you on the you need to change your identity. That's how bad it would be. But uh, back to the stories. At a sleepover when I was eight years old, the girl that owned the house's kid was really getting on my nerves and I just peed on her carpet so her parents would think it was her? Girl, what? So they thought it was her and she's still in therapy to this day because of me and I haven't seen her since. I'm sorry. Wait, I don't, I don't know what to discuss first or be shocked at first. Like the fact that you were so annoyed with someone that you were diabolical enough to like pull down your pants, your underwear squatted and peed on their carpet. The toilet was right down. That's how crazy that is. Two, it was so bad that the kid's parents put her in therapy. Do they think she has a peeing problem? Oh my gosh. You're the reason this poor girl is stuck in therapy and her therapist is like, I don't even understand why I have a peeing problem. I can't get to the root of this problem. Why are you peeing on carpets? And the girl's just like, it's not me, I swear. The girl's being like framed and everyone else is thinking she's gaslighting them. This is diabolical. I wanna be like, you can't waterboard this for me cause that's just so evil. But actually, no, I think you need to change your identity. That's how evil this is because just wait. That girl is gonna go through all those years of therapy and it's gonna click for her one day and she's gonna be like, it was that girl at my sleepover. I knew she smelled a bit like pee pee cause she's the one that pee peed on my carpet and I've been in therapy because of her. And then that's like when you're gonna rue the day. If I were you, I just take the precaution now and change my identity. <laughs> When I was in kindergarten, I had a crush on this boy for a really long time. Eventually, I had the heart to tell him and he smiled and walked away. What do you mean? How could you just smile and walk away? Then he moved the next day and I found that out from one of his friends. I'm sorry, could he not say that? You imagine, you go up to someone, you finally get the courage and the cojones to be like, I like you and they just smile and walk away. That is so messed up. Like, uh, did you forget how to speak? Do you know how to speak? Maybe not, it's kindergarten. Like, is he a late, a late bloomer? I don't know. This can't even be a don't leave your room because what's the point? The person that you were embarrassed in front of literally moved. So you know what? It sucks, but I'm sure you were okay or you will be okay if you still aren't. Literally, dude, what? I guess that's better than him spitting in your face, right? He only just moved a couple hundred miles away instead. <laughs> When I was 11 and in fifth grade, there was this boy named Colby and I was obsessed with him. And I had a pic of him on my phone so I would get it out and start kissing the screen aggressively for no reason. I wanna be like, we've all been there. I'm sure we've all done this. Like it happens to the best of us, sis. But I can confidently say I have never taken a photo of like one of my crushes and start like kissing it. I always thought that was like too much. That was too high of a pedestal. If I was going to be doing that with anybody, it'd be like a celebrity. Joe Jonas, you know, not like Timmy from fifth period. Like, why are we like this? Like, we are taking creeper pictures of people and like either sharing it for our friends or having it for ourselves. Like, I vividly remember every time I'd see one of my friend's crushes, I'd take a picture and send it to my friend and be like, look who I saw today. That is so creepy. Why are we doing that? We would literally be so creeped out if someone was taking pictures of us and sending it to their friends. Like, I'm just going to put it, it happens to the best of us. We've all sadly taken creeper pics and if you haven't congrats you're better than us. <laughs> the aggressively kissing part though <laughs> 
When I was like seven or eight, my mom took me and my brother to Five Below and we each got one of those bags. You can put 10 pieces of candy in and I got some gum. And what I would do is whenever I was done chewing it, I would put it back inside the plastic bag. That is nasty. I'd put my candy in, wait for later, and then chew it again and repeat the process? Girl, what? My mom found out and made me throw the bag away. I sure hope she did because if mom wasn't gonna make you do it, I was gonna make you do it. I was about to come out of this screen and toss that for you. You're telling me you'd grab candy, you'd chew on it, you'd put it in a bag, and then you'd chew on it again and repeat like a little mama bird trying to feed its little babies? That is, that's disgusting. No. You couldn't waterboard this out of me. For sure, without a doubt. Why? At least it was your own candy. At least it wasn't like your little brother's candy that you were doing that too. But like that is still, it, it, were you trying to make it last longer? It's gonna lose its flavor. It's lost the texture. It's just your saliva at that point. You imagine asking your friend for a piece of candy. You just reach for that candy and it ends up being like a piece they've chewed five times. <sighs> I would tell my friends that I had my period when I didn't, so I could get free food. I was about to be like, oh, this happens to all of us who hasn't lied about their period, because if you haven't used your period as an excuse to get out of something, you are truly missing out. It's the least we can do after being cursed with periods. But like, saying I got my period when I didn't so I could get free food, I never got free food for being on my period. Like, what kind of friends you got? Do they need more friends? Uh, this does feel like you're taking advantage of your friends though. So like, just in case I put this at, you couldn't waterboard this from me because if my friends ever found out I was like manipulating them and lying to them just to get me free food, I feel like they would be really mad at me and possibly not be my friends anymore or like possibly throw that food at me, you know? So <laughs> I'm definitely like doubting some of my relationships right now. <laughs> I should just start texting my friends be like, hey, I'm on my period. So when me and my best friend were around four, my mom bought me a pink camera and we would take pictures of ourselves naked and then we would show each other. We laugh about it now and our parents still don't know. I don't know how to feel about this because like we laugh about it now. Okay, so like you're still friends. That's great that you feel comfortable enough with your best friend to be doing all this. Like I think that's a beautiful friendship. There were also four, you know, like kids Kids do the darnest things, literally. Um, the fact that y'all were like taking nudes at four though, that's crazy. Don't wanna see what you guys are doing when you're 18. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm conflicted. Like half of me is like, this is girlhood. You know, like when you change in front of your friends, you're like peeing in front of your friends. Is this weirdly wholesome? Or is this like, you could have waterboard this from me. Like this is staying between me and my friend. We're taking that to the grave and no one else would ever know. Um, I'm gonna do you could have waterboard this for me because this is something I would keep for my best friend and I for sure. Our little girlhood secret. Yeah. But tell me what you think. Cause I'm still like, this is weirdly wholesome. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If there were any of these stories that you think I ranked wrong and you would rank them elsewhere, please let me know, judge along in the comments. If you wanna see more videos like this, I have an entire playlist on my channel where I reveal a bunch of your embarrassing stories and secrets. This is the first one I've ever ranked though. So if you guys liked me ranking them, please let me know and I might just start doing it for some more videos. Shout out that it goes to the Kitty Theory and thanks so much for being here. I absolutely love this comment. I hope you guys stay safe out there. I hope you guys aren't out there getting embarrassed and peeing on closed toilet lids. And if you are, I hope you come back and you tell me about it. But <laughs> I love you. Bye.